Heading to the backstretch, the 2 to 1 favorite is Valley of Sin, 3 to 1 Tweed. They're on the backstretch and ready for the start. They're off. JJ Alex, Sleek and Beautiful, Mystical Michael, just the right touch. These four left best. Sleek and Beautiful up the pegs is just ahead in front, but it's going to have to work to hold the lead as Mystical Michael turns up the pressure. Just the right touch is up into third on the outside from JJ Alex, and Tweed came away in fourth, racing five lengths off the lead. They're followed by Valley of Sin, who's third from last, just better than just a Jersey boy in Timber. Is in his customary early spot at the back of the pack, nine and a half lengths off the lead of Mystical Michael through a 28-second open and quarter mile. They move in front of us, and Mystical Michael seeds the lead to just the right touch. The three-to-one second choice, just the right touch, took over by a length and three-quarters with a circuit to go, and here comes J.J. Alex charging up first over to within two lengths of the lead. So Sleek and Beautiful's been locked in. Tweed is second over on the clubhouse turn, just three and a half off the lead. Valley of Sinwall third over is two off his cover. He's got five to make up inside the final four furlongs. Just a Jersey boy is seven lengths behind just the right touch, and one and three quarters off last remains Timber. 57 and two for the half mile. They've got three eighths to go and just the right touch to catch. The lead is a length, just the right touch is holding off mild but steady pressure from the first over. J.J. Alex and Mystical Michaels locked in the box. Tweed is second over. Two and a half from the lead now in a blind switch as Paquette gives Valley of Sin the green light at the quarter pole. He's sweeping up three wide. He's progressed to within a length and three quarters of the lead. Valley of Sin's gobbling up ground. Now within a neck of just the right touch in the shadow of the eighth pole. Timbers putting in his late four wide bid too. He's up within three lengths and making good ground. Three quarters, 126 and two into the stretch. Just the right touch has just been collared by Valley of Sin. Valley of Sin the advantage at the 16th. Just the right touch is all up but Valley of Sin pushed right past. Valley of Sin, one going away by two. Just the right touch, second in. Flanked by Sleek and Beautiful and Mystical Michael. Deeper out was Timber, who was even in the final 16th after making ground off the turn. Next came Tweed and Just a Jersey Boy with J.J. Alex fading off that first over push. He checked in at the back of the pack. 156 and one. Six Valley of Sin, two to one first. Seven just the right touch, three to one second. One sleek and beautiful, seven to one third. Five mystical Michael, 24 to one fourth. Six, seven, one, five in race eight. Back to the Bully Hill Vineyards winner's enclosure, Valley of Sin. This is a five-year-old bay and tire by Yankee Glide out of the American winter mare, Anklet Hanover, bred in New Jersey by Peretti Farms, owned by the VIP Internet Stable and the Harmony Oaks Racing Stable. Trained by John Bootenshane, driven to victory by Fern Paquette, Jr. He scores his second win on the evening's card. Four drivers with two wins apiece, Brandon Simpson, Dan Clements,